sales results matter. If you're trying to get some sales movement, you want to see some results. You want to see some action come back from that. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to talk about results. Now, last month I put a whole bunch of listings on sale. It had been four or five months since I ran a sale, so we've been running sales ever since. Today we're going to look at the results from that. It's been 30 days. The sale is now ended. I've even copied and created a new one and started the sale over. So when you go to the marketing tab, it is basically going to give you a summary of the sales or any events that you have running or that have ran in the last so many days. Now we ran the promotional, the markdown, as I've talked about. And out of that promotion, people bought $604.44 worth of merchandise just at the sale itself. No quibble, no nothing. The sale hit, they bought the items at the sale price. End of story on those items. That's 150 bucks extra every week that we did this just from this sales promotion itself. Now sales from my markdown is not actually what I'm looking for as I've said many times including in the video when I put these up what I'm looking for is the opportunity to send offers to watchers so when you mark down stuff what happens is you get flooded with a bunch of new offers to watchers double or more than what I had prior to me running this sale so instead of having say on average 150 200 offers to watchers that I could send out once I run a sale what I'm getting is twice that in and you can track these down you can see how many you have for the month prior to you run a sale write those numbers down and then see how many you have once you start to run the sale for us it works all the time we get sales in we get the opportunity to put offers to watchers almost immediately that again is what I want out of this so 604 extra bucks is a bonus for doing this it's 150 extra bucks a week besides the other money that we are getting from items from the offers to watchers that we can send out so let's look at the markdown sales themselves. To do that, all you're going to do is click over here on the markdown sale button, and it's gonna take us over there. And this is the page that pops up. This has a breakdown basically day by day on all the sales that occurred from your promotion, from your markdown sale and promotion. It's got the promoted totals here. Now it's gonna tell you what those numbers are from. These are just sales from items that sold only through the promotion. This has no effect and does not list a single solitary thing that sold from people watching the items at all. You'll have to go down and track how many you had before versus how many you have now after you run a sale so you yourself can see that those numbers do increase greatly when you run these sorts of things. It doesn't even have to be a big sale. Now we have our prices set with this sort of thing in mind from the day it goes up. So any item that goes up we've priced accordingly so that we have room to play with when we are pricing and doing markdowns promotions and all of this sort of thing our goal as I said is just to get those people watching the item to have clicked on it so that I can send them an offer most of our sales and a lot of our items like this are done through offers to watchers right behind that are folks sending us offers we don't do many auctions at all so it's all this sort of sale but looking at this it gives a pretty good breakdown now these are the actual sales that I had running this one here the very bottom one has ended there actually was an issue with it I missed something on it I made a mistake and I had to end it so that I could remove some items from it now you can edit some of these as well I just decided to end it I decided only to limit the amount of sales to a very specific group of items in a very specific category I do have two actual running and if you look here at the status you can see I've got one active here with 10,000 items and then I have another one active here with around 2,000 items so I have far less than half of my store up for sale at this time again we're very selective on the sales that we were doing I was going to put some other items on sale but the revenue the amount of increase we've been seeing from just this little bit of a sale has been whopping us and we've been very busy and having to wrap a ton of extra items 
course, the money is corresponding with it. We did make a ton of extra money. Now, as I said, the numbers you see here do not reflect any of the increases from offers to watchers. I am up over $3,000 from the month before, month over last. And those pretty much all equate to a mass influx of opportunity to send offers to watchers. So if you add up the $3,200 that we took in increased revenue from offers to watchers plus the $604 here, we did over $3,800 more than last month just by running the sale. That is an increase of $950 extra each week that we did this sale. So does a sale work? The results pretty much show it to me right off the bat. Again, you will have to look at your last month's amount of watchers day by day if you track those and then compare them to what you get when you run a sale we do see a great increase across the board when we do that all the time we do also hammer all of our offers constantly if there's offers to watchers we can send them out we may send them out 10 different times a day every day all day I always have that tab open so I can constantly hammer those out it always works the more offers we send out the more we get in the ability to send out so we keep increasing the more that we send out now there's one more side note to doing this when we run these sales and I'm picking very specific items and specific specific categories, these same items then are actually marked down on other sites that are linked to our eBay account. So if you're on Inkfrog, you can set it up where you actually mark down stuff through eBay for all of your accounts on other sites. So if you're doing Inkfrog, Shopify, Etsy, or any of those other things, the price can be affected as you do it. So you could get some more sales from these other platforms at the very same time, which is what happens with us. When the sale went into effect, 12,000 items basically were shown as being on sale on the hip platform so we got a bunch more sales a bigger increase from that platform as well so not only did we make 950 bucks a week from eBay we also added on to that from other platforms and other sites through the connections the API through the API, it automatically filters a sale I put out on eBay through the other platforms. Now, if you're using Inkfrog or Shopify, you can regulate that on how it works. So if you mark it down on eBay, you can stop it from marking it down on other platforms. Again, I price the same way pretty much everywhere we sell. So if I put it on sale on eBay, I'm fine with it going on sale anywhere else. It's a quick, easy way to garner more sales, not just from eBay, but from the other platforms that we are on. Now, here's our month over last and year over last percentages from right this minute. As of right now, we are up, compared to last month, 72.2%. And that is just because of me running the sales and sending out a whole bunch more offers to watchers. You can also see as well by looking at compared to the same period a year ago, I am still up 51.4% over year over last right now. The overall market for the items, though, that we sell is only up 4.2%. So we are up over 68% above and beyond what the average seller is in these same categories we're selling in. Now comparing the market itself from the same time a year ago, again, this is year over last percentages, we are up 41, almost 41.5% above the actual market itself. Well, there you have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Go together like a giant puzzle.
zigzag around before they come. Each is a mighty robot. I'm Jigsaw. One bad body. A mighty vehicle. Cock and a crossbow go arm in arm. And together. Tic Tac heads for the top. A renegade Gobot giant. The Gobot Puzzler says each Gobot Puzzler also sold separately. New from Tonka. <laughs>